Drought conditions in Oregon are affecting trees and plants in the Willamette Valley. They are drying out and some are dying because the roots are not getting enough moisture. Shuri says they have lost a lot of trees due to the hot temperatures this year and there is a concern in the next cycle of Christmas trees. The hot temperatures are a problem because they've affected the new plantings of, of trees that we just put in this last January and February. Uh, it's been so hot that even though we can irrigate the trees, we can't get around to irrigating the whole farm frequently enough to prevent some of those small trees from drying out. Environmental activists met in downtown Eugene today to raise awareness about climate change. They're calling on lawmakers to act now. You can already see the effects happening and I know that, you know, when I eventually have children, I want them to have a safe place to live and on the path we're headed now, you know, we need to take action now to make sure that we can have a clean and healthy future for future generations. The group is calling for a bipartisan effort on the federal level to invest in clean energy and environmentally friendly projects. Scientists at Oregon State University, Risa, some areas are expected to see triple digits again. What are they saying about our climate conditions? Jacqueline, one big concern right now is that humidity recovery at night will not be as good as it has been in the past few days. Larry O'Neill is a climatologist and oceanographer with OSU. He says overnight humidity recovery is very important for firefighters. Uh, we've basically been taking more water out of our groundwater system than we've been putting back. And so over time, um, our deficits in the groundwater system are getting pretty big. So we're definitely much, much drier than we were 10 years ago in that. It doesn't just impact fire season, it also hurts agriculture. Oregon State University Fish and Wildlife Specialists say salmon and trout are so adapted to cold water that they have very little tolerance to warm waters. This could lead to a massive mortality for salmon and trout, especially since water temperatures for the Pacific Northwest are projected to increase by up to 6 degrees from 2070 to 2099. We are talking about the 6 degree change. I wouldn't be that optimistic in many cases. Um, probably populations in Alaska, Northern British Columbia would continue to do reasonably well, but I don't think uh, we'll see the same picture here in Oregon. And that worries me. Giannico says temperatures for cold water fish species should range from 52 to 58 degrees. When temperatures rise over 74 degrees, fish need more food and they have problems surviving. There will be migrations, there will be displacements, there will be population uh, extinctions uh, as the climate changes. Um. As for the thousands of sand dollars that recently washed on the beaches of Seaside, Oregon, Giannico says marine experts are analyzing what happened and still have no answer. Use from wildfire smoke in the Willamette Valley and in the Umpqua Valley, officials say there's not a health concern yet. The Lane Regional Air Protection Agency says the haze is in the moderate category, but still on the safer side. Once the air quality is above the unhealthy category, action is taken to protect people. When air quality gets to the point that that action is needed, and it does vary throughout the day, when air quality is either good or moderate, there's not as much of a concern to the average citizen to take actions to protect their health. But once the air quality gets to that point that's called unhealthy for sensitive groups, that's when those people who are considered sensitive groups should go indoors. NBC 16's Brisa Mendez is on scene and joins us now with the latest information. Brisa. Right now, I am currently standing on Royal Street as helicopters and fire crews are fighting an active fire on scene just over on these fields near the reservoir. I spoke to Sergeant Tom Speldrich, PIO of Lane County Sheriff's Office, who said the fire is six acres and they received the phone call today at 3.06 p.m. Everyone near the fire are being evacuated. I saw a resident just drive by with his family and some horses just a few minutes ago and from here we can see the helicopter fighting the fire we can smell a little bit of that smoke this is a developing story and we will continue to update you on the latest